Good evening. Is anybody there? Yeah, we are here. I can hear, but not so Hi, hearing. good evening. Wait a second. I think I have to turn up the volume. Yeah, the volume was too low. Okay, so I see Freddy's, Ana Mariela, Suleima, Miguel Angel, Jacqueline, Brenda, and Blanca connected. Uh, okay, so Freddy's, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Ana Mariela? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Miguel Angel? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, let me check. I'm going to see if the camera is working. I'm not on my computer right now, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. I can hear you, Anna. Um, okay, now I, I see myself. Okay, perfect. And Suleyma? I can hear you. I'm here. Okay. Awesome. Jackie? Now you're home, Salema. That's good. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, Jackie. Thank you. Uh, so you're more relaxed today, Salema. Uh, Juan Jose? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Okay. I don't know why, but you seem familiar to me, Juan Jose. It's like I know someone who looks alike, probably. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you may. too. <laughs> I'll see you in some time, but I don't know. <laughs> we never know, right? Maybe we have seen each other somewhere. Uh, Brenda, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, there's a little noise in the background, but I can hear you. Okay, I'm driving home now. Oh, okay, okay. Drive safely, please. <laughs> uh, Blanca? Uh, okay, so I got it. Good. Uh, Carla? Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Okay, thank you, Carla. Uh, Karen? Hello, teacher. Hello. Present. Okay, you can hear me well, and I can hear you too. Francisco? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Sorry, I... I... late today. Don't worry, you are, you are just on time. Just on time. Okay, so they say that uh, we have the expression okay. on time and in time. On time and in time, right? So just for your information, right? So in time is when you are before the, the time that you're supposed to, to be at a place, right? Or to start something. And on time, okay, on time is uh, when you arrive probably five minutes before or exactly at the time, a couple of minutes before. So that is on time, okay? So in time is when you and you arrive to a place uh, with enough anticipation, right? So 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour before. So that would be in time. Okay. Um, Ruth, welcome. Can you hear me? Ruth Sarai. I think she cannot hear me right now, but I see her on the camera. Uh, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome. It's good Thanks. to have you back. Thanks, teacher. Actually, I was looking for your name, right, on the screen because uh, today we're going to stay uh, after the class. Um, Remember? Okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. So, Floor, are you there? Flor Idalma. Wait a second. Um, maybe she's. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yes. I'm okay. 
Perfect. So, uh, welcome, guys, to one more day. Uh, we're finishing the week. So, you see, this is the reality of time, right? At the beginning, we think like, okay, it's the first day. It's going to be five weeks. Uh, and surprise, surprise, we're finishing the week number one. So, uh, I hope that this week has been very productive for you, that you have learned many things. Hey, Diana, nice to see you, uh, that you have learned a lot of things, that you have uh, been nice able to, to, good evening, that you have been able to uh, interact with different people, right, and probably learn a little bit about them. Uh, so we're finishing with the topics that I was telling you through the group, through the WhatsApp group, right, that uh, we're going to finish with the last two topics from the unit. Uh, they are more focused on grammar, but also the way that we use these topics in real life, okay? So it's going to be really interesting um, to, to practice and to study both topics. But first of all, okay, I'm going to uh, take the attendance quickly. Uh, I see that Harbin is here. And after that, we are going to share, we are going to share the action plan, okay, to uh, introduce a new product to a menu. That's what you were doing yesterday. Some groups were discussing about a uh, main um, dish, right, or the dessert or a drink or a new starter or snack, right? So that's what, or the main course, uh, instead of main dish, that's another way to say it. Um, so, we, yesterday, we only listened to one group, right? So today, we're going to listen to the rest to have an idea about what product they are going to introduce in their menu. Um, besides that, uh, what else do you remember from yesterday's class? What is the topic that we were focused on? Do you remember? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Harvin. Uh, I remember we were talking about how is the best way to introduce a new product. Okay, so to introduce a new product, we need what? We need two things, two things that are very, very important. Okay, I don't remember that. <laughs> don't worry, your classmates will help you. <laughs> We need the product. Uh, yes, but, but <laughs> not exactly. We need to select uh, a new item. Select a new item. Hmm. That is something related to action. The strategies. Okay, strategies is one. Okay, strategies is one. But to implement the strategies, what do you design first? A plan. A plan. Okay, that's right, Diana. So we need an action plan, right? How many elements did we study or how many steps did we study yesterday to create an action plan, a good action plan? Five. Five steps. Okay. Do you remember any of the five steps? Yes, the first is the action or the change that will happen. Uh-huh, exactly. What is going to be new? What is going to be different? Okay, so we are going to eliminate one product or we're going to include a new product or we're going to change a product. Okay, or we're going to change the price of a product. So uh, that is, is the number one. Another one that you remember? Who will carry out, carry out? Who will carry out the, the new item, right? Or the action? Who's going to do it? Okay, that's very important. Next. When will take place and for how long? When and for how long? That's really, really important, right? You have to determine the time when you're going to, to do it and for how long you will do it. Okay. Excellent. Um, 
And we had the example, right, as Blanca was commenting yesterday, of the BTS hamburger in McDonald's, right? So uh, it, I think it was just a couple of weeks, right? Or one week, I think, and it's over. No, no? it was yesterday. The, the Wednesday. Only one day. Yeah. Oh, it, okay. It moves so fast that only mm, duro. <laughs> How do you one say day. durar? How do you say durar? The... During? Nope. No. How long? Mm, that's a question. How long? How how much time, right? Uh, but the action, Jennifer? Last. Last. That's correct. So, for example, this class lasts for two hours. This class lasts for two hours. And this module lasts for five weeks. Okay, five weeks. So, last. Uh, the new Fast and Furious movies last um, 145 minutes. That is two hours and 25 minutes. Okay, so that's a new Fast and Furious movie. The Titanic Hello. is like three oh. hours long. Uh -huh. Can I say it in Spanish? Uh, what? 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 Eh, la promoción la promoción era mientras dure en existencia y solamente duró un día ah uh, ok yeah somebody was telling me about that hamburger today about that promotion or that I don't know how I don't know how how to call it right so that is what we were studying yesterday excellent so how long and when what is the next step What resources are needed to carry out the change? That's right. What resources? Not only the money, right? But the equipment, the ingredients, uh, the people that you need for that. Um, imagine that it's a, it's, I don't know, it's a new pizza and uh, you want to make this pizza similar to the ones that they make in in Italy, for example, and you say, okay, so for this new product, we are going to hire someone who is from Italy or someone who learned how to make pizzas in Italy, right? So they have the original recipe, okay? So that's uh, what you do, right? You think about the resources. And the last one, but not the least, is... Communication, who shall know that? communication who should know what right so um it's in general okay what is your target audience okay uh, and the way that you're going to do it so through social network through i don't know uh, flyers or tv or the media right okay now we're going to move on and um quickly let me call out your names so did you say here or present? Okay, wait a second, I moved one group. Okay, here we go. So Ana Beatriz, are you there? I'm here. Okay, Ana Elizabeth? Not here yet, Ana Mariela? Present. Okay, uh, Brenda Erlinda. Caroline. I'm here. Diana. Here, teacher. Floor. I'm here. Francisco. Present, teacher. Glenda. I think the plan is not here yet. Harbin? Present. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose? I'm here. Karen? Present. Maritza? Present, teacher. 
Merlin. Not here. Miguel Angel. Not here. Rolando. Okay, Rolando is not here yet. Ruth. I'm here. Suleima. I'm here, teacher. Jessica. Jessica is not here yet. So we we'll continue with Jacqueline. I'm here. Blanca. I'm here. Freddy's. Freddy's. Yes. Okay. And Julio. Okay. Julio is not here uh, at the moment. So we're going to move on, okay, to the next part. So um, quickly, we are going to uh, listen to some of your classmates, okay? Uh, probably one person or two, for two people from each group will share with us the information for the, about the new product that they will introduce in their restaurant, right? So uh, do we have any volunteers? Okay, Diana, thank you. Okay, the last group, we, we, we create or add uh, a new dessert and it will be available during November until um, December for Christmas season. Um, who will carry it out? It's going to be the baker because he is going to create the new recipe. The desserts are uh, cookies, ginger cookies, uh, with the decoration Christmas uh, topic. And uh, what we well, when will it take place? As I said before, for Christmas season, what resources we need, uh, the baker, uh, the creation of our restaurant, and the communication should be uh, through, through social media network. Okay. Uh, yeah, social network and social media, okay. So yeah, in the past, the social media, they, they used to consider the TV, the radio, right, mainly, uh, but now, uh, and the internet, right? But now with the social networks, people uh, focus more on specific, uh, let's say, apps, right? Like uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, now is famous, right, it's popular. So uh, it's, the, the, the way that people promote their products has changed a little bit. Okay, the next one. Uh, that would be in the group where Diana was. So let's give them a round of applause, please. Very good. We continue with the next volunteer. Okay, so we have uh, the two groups already uh, presented. So the next one would be... Just what you remember, yeah, right? So you don't have to have all the elements. Maybe you can just summarize the product and explain it a little bit. What is going to be a strategy that you will use to introduce this new item? Anybody? I think some people forgot to take notes and maybe that's why they cannot share the information they don't remember right now. So if we can have at least one more new item that you discussed, I don't know if it was a dessert, a snack or a drink. 
I think there was a group that was discussing about a new drink, but I'm not sure. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. floor. Okay, um, well, with, with Freddy's, we decide to create a new cocktail. It's going to be introduced to the menu of the restaurant. It will be okay. called a Confutla Bite. The, mar the barman created a receipt uh, for the, the recipe. The, re the recipe. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, you see? <laughs> no, that's the word that I was telling yesterday that a lot of students get confused. They 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 see the word and they say receipt because uh, I mean we have receipt that is ticket right or like uh, recibo right the receipt and the restaurant etc. And uh, then we have recipe that is for food. So it's two words that people confuse at the beginning, right? So it's okay. normal, okay? Recipe, yeah? Recipe for the cocktail. The owner approves it and the marketing manager will be responsible to advertising the product. The cocktail, the cocktail will be introduced from August vacations mm -hmm. and continue to the rest of August or the month. The bartender prepared a special mix. All the products were requested and bought from local farmers and suppliers in the coastal area. The marketing department promoted them on social networks and ad advertisements, advertisements on the uh -huh. of the entire coastal area. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. That was very specific. I like the name and everything. So cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to use a ta-da this time. So we recognize the, the effort, right? That every group and every person is trying to, to make, right? Or to put into this. So um, that was uh, Freddie, Floor, and somebody else's group. Uh, we had Diana, and yesterday we had just one volunteer as well. Okay, so is, if there's nobody else um, ready to share, we're going to move on to the next part. So as yesterday I noticed, right, that we are not so accustomed to writing down in English, okay? I thought about doing a, a quick um, activity, right, for, for you to write down, okay, some words in English. So it's going to be very simple. I am going to give you uh, three categories, and for each category, you are going to have one minute one minute, maximum one minute and a half, depending on the topic, okay? For you to write down all the words that belong to that category. So for example, if I say animals in English, you are going to have one minute or one minute and a half maximum to write down all the animals that you remember in English. So it's like a competition, right? A vocabulary competition. And in the end, we're going to see who has more vocabulary in total, right? In total of the three categories. So that's the example, okay? Animals, but it's not the category. So we're, let's go with the first category. Uh, is the indication clear? Yes? Okay, perfect. Yes, you can use a reaction. You can activate the microphone. You can do it like this on the camera, right? Uh, or you can nod your head like, yes, I don't understand, but yes, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. So uh, the first category for you is, wait a second, there's a noise. Okay, perfect. So the first category for you is family members, family members in English. So write down all the family members that you remember. And your time begins in three, two, one, go. One minute to write down all the family members that you, re that you remember. So here I have the, the clock ticking right there. So you can see the time is passing by and you need to hurry up. For example, mother, grandmother, Father, stepfather.
You need to write, you need to write, Blanca. Move your hand, move your hand. <laughs> okay, so you need to practice writing. That is important for spelling and for memorizing the words, right? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, okay? Put your hands up. So no more writing, no more writing. Okay, no more typing. Okay, good. No dictionary, no Google, right? So only what you remember, what you know. Okay, second category, okay? Uh, the second category is verbs in English. Verbs in English, for example, play, forget, do, go. Okay, so for this, I will give you one minute and a half because there are many verbs. Ready, set, and go. Verbs in English. Only in the base form, in the present, right? Don't do like go when done. No, only go. <laughs> okay. Not conjugation of verbs. No Google, no YouTube. No dictionaries. If you have good internet connection and you have the camera, don't forget that you have to turn it on, okay? That is also important. Okay, 30 seconds more. All the verbs that you can remember in English. Fly, swim, jump. Okay, 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, time's up, okay? Hands up, no more writing, no more writing. Jose, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, no more vocabulary, we stop. Okay, next one, uh, the last one, okay? The last one, so this is going to be uh, the last category. So, the, this can be a little bit more challenging, okay? A little bit more challenging. So I need you to write down, okay? I will give you one minute approximately. Yeah, one minute and a half for you to write down all the electronic appliances and furniture and furniture. So muebles and electrodomésticos, right? El appliances and furniture in English, okay? That you have at home or that you can find another place, right? Uh, in an office or in a classroom. Think about all the different options, right? Electronic appliances and furniture. Ready, set, go. For example, table, desk, uh, blender, fan, air conditioner, air conditioned, okay, and so on. The washing machine. This is a really good exercise that you can do by yourself to check how much vocabulary you know about different topics. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, no more writing. So we're finished. We're done. <laughs> okay, so uh, Suleyma already shared her vocabulary through the chat. So right now, quickly, I need you to count how many words you have in total, okay? The words that you know that they exist, right? Uh, in English. 
So, please. The total the the total the, the three okay. categories. That that's right. The total of words. Okay, so Suleyma. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twenty-nine. Okay. So Selena has guess? thirty. Yes, I guess. <laughs> okay, thirty. Okay, let's say thirty. Yeah, I think I didn't count one. Okay, thirty. You can write it down in the chat if you want. That's okay. You can write down the total. Uh, Diana says fifty-seven. Uh, Selena thirty. Carla thirty-five. Very good. Arvin, thirty. I have fifty-seven, but one, two, three, four, five that I didn't write it right. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> because they they are marked in with the red mistake. Okay, got it. 42 for Anna Beatriz, Ruth 33, Blanca 38, Arvin said 30, and Karen says 41. Okay, really good numbers, really good numbers. So the majority of you have more than 30, so that's excellent. Okay, so uh, now that you have this right idea, we're waiting for the rest of your classmates to share the to share their their number of words, the total of words. I suggest you, right, do this little, uh, for me, it's like a game, right? Uh, you can do it in different ways. Another way that we're going to do it on, in another occasion, another class, is with the letters of the alphabet, okay? How many letters do you know that begin or start with the letter C, for example? So that, okay? So you can challenge yourself in that way. Miguel Angel, uh, 27, Francisco, 21. Okay, there you go. So. Uh, we're ready to go and we move on to the next part of the class. So as I told you, okay, you already shared some of the, let's say new products in your menu. We discuss about the action plan, about the strategies that are five, uh, the steps, right? That you need to follow in order to introduce a new product. And right now we are going to study the next topic, okay? So, uh, I will share the screen so that everybody can see it. Wait a second. Here we go. So in this case, the the, the winner, if, if we had to give a prize, right, uh, would be Diana, right, who got 57 words. So we can give Diana a round of applauses, right, and for everybody. So you did it really, really well. Now, uh, Jennifer, okay, I understand Jennifer, thank you for telling me about that, about that. And here we go. Okay, can you see the screen right now? Yes. yes. What yes. do you see? Yes, a conversation. Unit one, I will be able to. Okay, there you go. So yes, there's a conversation. Uh, okay, Jennifer, so you can write down in the chat how many words you have in total, right? Um, just to mention, right, some examples. Uh, she's got a uh, nephew, uncle, uh, aunt, grandfather, father, mother-in-law, verbs, play, boil, sing, write, eat, cut, have, furniture and appliances, TV, refrigerator, Table, desk, AC, computer, washing machine, microwave, computer uh, is repeated, I think. Uh, uh, chain, uh, I don't know what chain is in this context. And table. Okay. So, um, quickly, what we're going to do in this unit or this part of the unit, let's say, is to provide suggestions about the promotional activities of a product or service. Okay, 23 words. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, so, what is a promotional activity? How do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? 
uh, when, just to give an example, when I think about this, uh, I remember um, some specific companies, some specific companies. For example, the number one company in the world, uh, speaking of uh, publicity or probably the, the amount of products they sell is Coca-Cola. I personally don't don't promote Coca-Cola or I don't like Coca-Cola, right? But like Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Uh, but I consider that they have really good promotional activities, really good promotional strategies. Okay, so um, as you can see, they they use uh, different things to promote the, the the soda, right? They use soccer or football, right? They use football, they use Christmas, they use family, they use friends, they use many things that, that people like, okay? And they introduce the product, they introduce the Coca-Cola. It's not a new product. Now there is a new product with the Coca-Cola with coffee, right? There was a big promotion on the radio, on TV, on social networks, on the internet. So that's a promotional activity, okay? And now they have the Coca-Cola Zero, I think. So they have a lot of commercials about that. So that's just to give an example, right? So you can think about, oh, so that is a good promotional activity, right? So in your opinion, right? You are not an expert in marketing. I'm not an expert in marketing, but you we consume, right? We see, we listen, the promotional, the promotional activities or pro, not propaganda, but it's the advertising or the publicity that different companies use for their products. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do right now is to discuss those two questions. Wait a second. Okay. You're going to discuss those two questions in the breakout rooms with uh two more partners okay so we're going to create let me check we are 20 right now so you can take a screenshot right of the questions and later we are going to practice with carla's conversation phone conversation right so um that would be six six groups i think that would be okay so we created breakout rooms Remember, you're going to answer two questions. Question number one, Ruth, can you please read it? No, sorry. What is a promotional activity, right? Number two, Freddy's. How do you create a, a successful promotional activity for your restaurant products? Okay, successful promotional activities. Very good. So um, just express your opinion, right? You're not an expert. I'm not an expert, but we can say something about it. Okay, based on our experience as consumers, let's say. Okay, so uh, ready, set, and please go to the breakout rooms. You have exactly just two minutes to express your opinions, two minutes and a half maximum. Okay, join the breakout room and share what you think about these two questions. That's group number four. Okay, Carla, are you there? Good, okay, so everybody join the rooms. Check, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. What is that? What is, what is a promotional activity? This is the first uh, question. And uh, another question is, how do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? Uh, I think a uh, promotional activity you have well you you try to push and place a new product maybe 
and get new clients for that product. Okay. For I think. me is uh, give to know the new products uh, uh, and cheer people. Yes. Salvadorian uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, used to take advantage uh, whatever you yeah. can do it. <laughs> we used to take advantage for that <laughs> kind of ads. So uh, with Jarvin, we said that maybe some discount could be good. Yes. yes. I'm agree with yours. So what is a promotional activity? For me, is um, all messages that you can send uh, no matter the the channel, maybe can be social media, social networks, um, directly with the people, and in in any way that you can uh, imagine. In TikTok, because nowadays many people. Young people, Music. old people has TikTok. <laughs> so the social media, I think that is the best way to to be to get a promotion, to have a promotion with a product. Yes, I think you can contact many people uh, through so through social. And can you, for example, um, give some? or show the use of the product that you are create. That's a, 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 a promotional activity when you give a taste, like a taste for the, for the product. Uh, that's, the, that's the promotional activity. When you show the use, when you show the importance, when you create the, 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 the person, the customers need it. Okay. okay, some Didn't... companies give you samples. Exactly, just like a sample. Yes. Yeah, or sometimes uh, they give you low, low prices. The idea is you that. For example, I, I, I know one restaurant that um, when you give a beef, for example, or chicken, for example, uh, they put um, one recipient, a recipient for you take um, vegetable, and uh, the vegetable seems are free, but in reality they are um, in, in the price is included, but only if you give a beef, if you give chicken, or one um, principal, principal menu, and they uh, put a, yeah, put a, a, another uh, plate for you. Okay, so we're back. Um, I was listening to, to the majority of the groups and it was really interesting to, to hear that you have different perspectives about the same topic. So it's really, really nice. And I would like to, I would like to uh, have one person from each group just to share, okay? One opinion about the questions, okay? So uh, in the first breakout room, we had Blanca, Juan Jose, and Ruth. Any of the three who would like to say something about any of the two questions, okay? You can answer any of the two questions or simply express your opinion about uh, promotional activities, okay? Maybe you can share an experience. Maybe you can share one uh, promotional activity that you liked very much, okay? So, um, 
or one that you think was not very successful, okay? So, uh, Juan Jose, Blanca, or Ruth, okay? Any of you? We are talking about um, of the, the planning first time, but uh, I say about, I, I know one restaurant uh, uh -huh. Near for the gallery, for example, I don't remember near, if in the first near gallery near for galleria near for near, near gallerias. It, near no, gallerias. Okay, so yes, it's it's north north west. No, it's it's northeast northeast from galleria. Okay, uh, I don't you're remember. Good at, the you're name. good at directions, Juan Jose. <laughs> I can I can tell. Okay, if you tell me north, I don't know where north is. <laughs> so for me, so, <laughs> I know that Chalatenango is at the north part of the southern and what is 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 easier is easier when when something gives you the coordinate it's easier ah, uh, uh -huh. because the second the fourth uh, set, uh, uh, when you when you give a coordinate is more easier to uh, give give the, the place but, uh, i easier. am engineer uh -huh. civil yeah i am engineer uh, civil is more if, if you're a for me. Civ civil engineer okay that's the reason why okay uh, and in that in that uh, place there are one restaurant that when you give a, a principal or main main um um lunch for example main course beef uh -huh. or chicken okay they give you a um, dish extra, one dish mm, extra, an extra for dish. you uh, take uh, many vegetables, for example, tomatoes, onions, uh, many vegetables. And uh, seems that is free. In reality, they are, um, you pay, in reality, yeah. you pay. You're, yeah, they are okay. charging you, right? So yeah. It's... But only when you give a principal, a main, a main, uh, a main course uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. If it's only even a hamburger, no, no, because it's uh, it's. Uh, but when you give one more expensive, mm -hmm. they give a shift for you take another okay. free. Um, it is. Okay, but got the, it. Uh, the, the, the beef is not uh, cheap, it's, it's expensive. It's expensive. Okay, thank you so much, Juan Jose. I appreciate it. You can use the reactions. Remember when everybody's participating. Now we continue with somebody from the group number two. We had Ana Beatriz, Carla, and Jennifer. Thank you so much, Juan Jose, for breaking the ice. That is the most difficult part, right? To be the first one. The first question, teacher. What the first is or the second? Uh -huh. Whatever okay. you want. Okay, I think it's a good idea for a promotional activity. Get samples to the customers so the people taste your product and you increase your your sales. You increase and, your sales, that's right. And about uh, how do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? Sometimes um, the restaurants eat another dish in a half price. Mm -hmm, that's true. So for it's like, example, uh -huh, for example, uh, for example, the restaurants about Chinese food. Mm -hmm. They do that. They, they do that. They they had an specific day during during the week, and those days you can buy another dish by a half price. So mm -hmm. that increased your sales, and you had the opportunity to taste the the food. If, the view is good and you like, so you you come back and and buy again. 
That's 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 true. Okay, so that's a way to catch the customers, right? The and idea get, is is the loyalty. public at attention. Public attention. That's right. But sometimes that is a is a a publicity a publicity stamp. Mm -hmm. That's good. And you mentioned something that we're going to study in a moment, right? Some types of publicity uh, or let's say promotional strategies. So uh, after we finish this unit, I think that you're going to be ready to have your own restaurant, guys. So <laughs> let's, <laughs> we're talking about many things right here. So uh, I will go with the room number six. We have Diana and Francisco there. Uh, I don't know if Francisco would like to say something. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. I tried, I tried. Okay, that's the most important. For me, that is the best thing that you can do. Try, okay. right? Try to speak, try to participate because that's how you learn, right? That's how you learn. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Tell us, please. Okay. Uh, we talk, my coworker, um, I talk about the first question that is what is a promotional activity. Yeah. Uh, we have a good idea that we need to put the publicity in a specific place. Okay. For example, uh, we we can to put a I don't know, remember how do you say este uh, how do you say bias, what? Bias publicitaria? The let me check. I think these are the billboards, if I'm not mistaken. The big ones. Yeah? Yeah, the billboards. Billboards. That would be billboards. Okay. Yeah. For example, um we we can to offer the the product for season, for example, for Christmas, uh, we have to increase to the consult of the public. Um, uh -huh. We can to put a, a some special praise for the the people who came to buy our product. True. Excellent. So that's all that I want to hear, right? So you have a good perspective. Uh, and I just want, because of time, okay, I, I'm going to probably just ask from the room number five. We have Flor, Jacqueline, and Miguel. So maybe, uh, Miguel, can you answer the question number two? Uh, I don't know if you had the possibility to answer that question with your group. The question number two that was, um, how do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? Teacher, uh, we have only- um, Question one. Nine. We have one, question one, yes. Okay, yes. so go ahead, share, us, share about that. Okay, uh, what is the promotional activity? Well, uh, for example, uh, there are the options uh, in the company do. Um, uh, in my in my case, uh, my company um, the season that is most promoted is when the is dry in this moment because um, how do you say lemma teacher slogan A slogan yes A slogan well. is. Yeah, the slogan, uh, but the, there's another word also that is a motto, right? But motto is more for a philosophy. The slogan is the most appropriate word in this case. Appropriate. Slogan, yeah. Okay, it, it, the slogan in our company is uh, protect your family uh, of the rains. This is, okay. this is uh, uh, for uh, the, um, the promotion. That's for correct. Example, for, for example, use... Uh, uh, so much uh, TV, uh, mm -hmm. radio, um, social network, and the, um, 
how do you say by a publicitarias uh, teacher uh, billboards billboards using so much uh, billboards uh-huh yes this is uh um, in my company to do true okay excellent something that you that, that miguel mentioned is really nice i like it is the slogans right so the that is really important for companies because for example, one of my favorite slogans, and I tell my students this, right? You have to remember Nike's slogan when you are learning English, okay? Just do it, just do it. If you're thinking, do I participate? Do I study? Do I practice? Do I ask the question? Do I say something? Um, just do it, right? Don't think too much, just do it. So that's a very powerful slogan, right? That motivates people, right? To do the things that they want, that they like. So uh, slogans is something really important that the companies have to work on. Now, we're going to move on to the next part. Thank you for, for the participation, guys. So that's what I want, right? I want to listen to everybody speaking in the breakout rooms, in the, in the session, right, with everybody because that's the best way to learn, right? Not only listening to the teacher, but the most important is that you speak, okay? With mistakes, that's okay. That's why you are students, you are learning. In my case, it's more difficult to make mistakes, right? Because I am the teacher, but you have the freedom to make all the mistakes that you want, okay? That's how we learn. And now we're going to go on to the conversation. So we have Carla and Mr. Sanders. Um, so this is a phone call, phone conversation with a friend from advertising, the advertising department. So we will try, we'll try to do listening, listen and repeat, right? Listen and repeat. You don't have to activate the microphone, okay? You just listen and repeat with the microphone off, okay? So you can listen to your voice only. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. You repeat it by yourself, okay? Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. Repeat it, please. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. Okay, that was Carla. Now we'll continue with Mr. Sanders. How about, okay, how about promotional activities at the restaurant? How about promotional activities at the restaurant? Okay, you repeat it and we continue with the next part. Wait a second. You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Repeat. You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks, pepper sticks that never sell. Los que nunca se venden, right? Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up, hook them up with the spicy pizza. Then, okay, repeat. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. Okay, good. We continue to the next one. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Repeat, please. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, so you have to try to understand the, 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 the way that people speak according to the context, right? If they are excited, if they are serious, if they are happy, right? Um, if they are sad, maybe depending on the conversation, right? I didn't think of that. It's like a surprise, right? I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. It's enthusiastic. So you need to, that's part of the language, right? Continue. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. Repeat, please. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game like the Super Bowl, right? That's the top uh, game in the United States. Okay, 
you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay, you repeat it, you practice it, and we go to the last part. Okay, if you pay attention, I say you could offer, could offer. So I pronounce the could with an R, could offer. You could offer a discount, right? You could offer a you could offer a discount to the to the people who bought a ticket, bought a ticket, right, for the event. And then Carla, oh my. Oh my, that's like, oh my God, right? It, it's an exclamation. Uh, oh my, I will call you later. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. And then like, you have to hurry up, right? So Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. So imagine that idea of free samples of something that is really spicy and no water. That's not a good promotional activity, okay? So that's the conversation. And now we're going to practice uh, as we have just uh, two people having a conversation, okay? Uh, I would like you to try. I would like you to try to say the, the conversation. And for that, I need a volunteer. So, Diana, raise a hand. You have a question, Diana, or you want to be a volunteer? <laughs> I have a question. What okay. is the meaning of ho hook, them, hook them up? Hook them up. Okay. Hook them someone up. up. Hook someone up is to uh, attract, oh, to, 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 how can I tell you? Uh, for example, some people go to parties or to mm -hmm. bars to look for a partner, maybe a girl or maybe a boy, depending, right? And it's like, hey, I like your friend. Can you hook me up with her? It's like, can you make a connection there? Like, like you introduce me to her. So we, we become friends and maybe we can Como go out later. Amarrarlo? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. hook, hook them up, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was doing this, right? Like hook, them hook them up. Yeah, hook them up. So it's like if you go to in a restaurant, they say, okay, so if you come with your girlfriend for Valentine's Day, we will give you the dessert for free. And you are like, okay, this is my opportunity to take my girlfriend, okay? Or my boyfriend, <laughs> right? So and you don't you don't pay for the for the cheesecake, for example, or the chocolate cake. It's for free if you go with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, right? Now. Uh, that's hook someone up, right? To to catch someone or to tie them. Uh, so that's the idea. Another question, Blanca? Nope. No, okay. I want to uh, you want? You collaborate. You want to be a volunteer? Okay, perfect. Yeah. So now I have Carla. I need Mr. Sanders. Who can be Mr. Sanders this time? One girl or one boy? Okay, so let me check the first. Uh, I see the first hand here is Floor. Okay, Floor, you were the fastest. So Floor, you're going to be practicing with Blanca. So Blanca, you start the conversation and then you go on. Uh, Floor. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an in an action plan and in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities of the restaurant? Do you know you could discount the green pepper stick that never sells? Then customer will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. 
Luigi is outside the restaurant giving the free sample, but he isn't telling people that the pizza is super spicy. Okay, so excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, so guys, before we go to the breakout rooms, okay, don't forget the reactions for the volunteers. That was really, really nice. I like that fluency, right? Um, so that is the point, right? That you try to do everything naturally because the language is like that. Okay, spontaneous with mistakes as normal, right? We're not native speakers, uh, but we're trying our best to learn. Okay, and quickly, I'm just going to uh, check who's here and who's not. Okay, quickly, um, Julio is not here right now, so we continue with Freddy's. Here. Okay, Freddy's, thank you. Blanca? Here, here, here. Jacqueline? I'm here. Jessica? I'm here. Suleyma? I'm here. Okay. Uh, I think that I'm not the only one who has a dog near, <laughs> near him. Okay. So, uh, let me check. The next one is Ruth. Ow. Rolando is not here today. So he's, we don't have a uh, the number one volunteer, right? <laughs> uh, okay, Rolando is funny. Let's check. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Good. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Karen. Present. Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, the, uh, then we have, uh, well, Karen, Juan Jose, Jennifer, Harbin. Present. Glenda. Francisco. Francisco. Okay, Floor. I'm here. Diana. I'm here, teacher. Carla. I'm here, teacher. Brenda. I'm here. Anna. You look like a gamer, Brenda. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> like a YouTuber. Okay. Anna Mariela. It's a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know, right? Anna Elizabeth. It's not here, I think. And Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, excellent. So we're going to go quickly to the breakout rooms to practice the conversation. So you can take a screenshot of the of the conversation right now. And you practice the conversation two times, right? In one, the first time you are one character, and then the second, the second one, you are the second one. That can be Mr. Sander in this case, Mr. Sanders. Ready? I will recreate the breakout room so that you can practice in first. I will have exactly 10 breakout rooms because you are 20. So please go now. Accept the invitation. You have three minutes maximum to practice the conversation. Okay, perfect. Miguel with Brenda, Diana, Jessica, Freddy, Juan Jose, Blanca, Ruth, Jacqueline, Jennifer, Floor with Karen, Anna and Patrice with Carla, Anna Mariela with Maritza, Francisco Villacorta, Suleima, and wait a second. Okay, Maritza. 
Rosa. It's time to practice. <laughs> a mí solita me va a tocar practicar. <laughs> no, with me. Okay. Okay. Pero I am, I am your, your, your classmate. I'm going to share the conversation with you, okay. okay? Here we go. In this moment, you will be Carla and I will be Mr. Sanders, okay? Okay. Okay, go. Luigi is going, Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spice pizza to the menu. We work in, actual, in an action plan but we need to say cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. I didn't see of that. Sound mm -hmm. like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you, la you later. Luigi is outside, is outside the restaurant giving free samples but he isn't telling people the pizza in super spice. Spicy, uh-huh. Spicy. Excellent. Now we change. I am Carla and okay. you are Mr. Sanders. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get the customers to try the new product. How about promotional activity activities at the restaurant? You know you call this con you call this con um uh -huh, discount the green pep discount the green peppers stick that never sell. Yeah. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. Awesome. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a like a good idea. You, you mean want you might want to have you, you might, might want, want to, have. to have you might promo. want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert of a base baseball game you could offer you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event 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 that's correct oh my i will call you later luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy mm -hmm. so yeah that's a big problem okay so that is the, 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 the conversation, right? And you, you did it really well, uh, Maritza. I like that you have fluency, right? And the pronunciation was just like two or three words. The rest was really good. So congratulations. Keep on practicing. Keep on practicing. Okay. No me pongo ahí a la vista, pero me está sirviendo para educar el oído, pero honestamente, Exacto. teacher, eh, y bueno, estoy trabajando también en la plataforma, me está costando, uh -huh. pero tengo que, tengo que cumplirlo porque no me han avisado nada, pues yo no, tenía exacto. que haber empezado el, el básico 4. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, I have, I have... I'm going to be sharing with you materials, ok? I'm going to be sharing you materials through WhatsApp. So uh, tomorrow I am going to send you some extra information for you to study and practice, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. For you to study and practice. But don't worry, we're going to finish this. Uh, and as you said, you train your ears, okay? Mm -hmm. Está entrenando su oído, está uh, aprendiendo nuevas palabras, siempre tomando notas, y eso le va a ayudar un montón. Sí, okay? voy tomando Porque notas de los errores que eso, a eso la pronunciación como, y lo busco. Exacto, eso es como que usted se fuera ahorita para Estados Unidos. 
usted uh -huh. sabe que se va a exponer en algún momento a que la otra persona no va a hablar mucho español. Entonces ahí tiene que defenderse, ¿verdad? Y ver cómo no. le entiende el gringo. No, Ima que eso ima es Imagínese si le, le tocara hacerlo. No, ya, que, me, ya, ya, ya tuve que viajar así, okay. pero este, bien feo es, este, no entender qué le están diciendo. Es difícil, ¿verdad? es difícil, pero, es difícil, ¿no? pero ¿cuál es la reacción que tenemos? Buscamos la manera de defendernos, ¿verdad? De, de comunicarnos. Sí, claro. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a tratar de hacer, ¿verdad? Exponernos un poquito a modo de adaptarnos. Eh, pero mire, esta semana sí ha sido estresante para mí con esto, no crean. Yeah, I know. Más que, it's, que it's ahorita adaptation. estoy incapacitada. ¿Ah? Sí, sí, me dijo que estaba enfermita ahí. Pero, sí. pero es la, digamos que es la semana de adaptación, ¿ok? Ya la otra semana a ver que va a sentir el cambio y ya va a ir soltándose más. Eso se lo digo por experiencia. He tenido estudiantes que se han adaptado así a, a compañeros o a grupos que tal vez está un poquito más avanzado, ¿verdad? Pero lo han logrado, uh -huh. lo han logrado. Entonces, es posible. Ya a ver que sí. Ay, vamos. Le gracias vamos a ayudar en todo lo que podamos. Ok. Sí, muchas gracias. You're welcome. Ok. Let's go back. Ok. Welcome to the jungle now. Welcome back to the class. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. And uh, I couldn't I couldn't listen to, to you in the in the breakout rooms, right? Because I was in one breakout room practicing the conversation too. So I was practicing with Maritza this time. And uh, I I think that you had enough time, right? To do the two conversations and practice the vocabulary and the pronunciation that is really important. Right now, we're going to move on because in the conversation, uh, yeah, guns and roses, that's correct, Lenka. Uh, in the conversation, you had uh, some specific words, some specific expressions like you could discount, you might want to have, you could offer. What is this expressing? What is this expressing in your opinion? If I tell you, you could offer people a free drink. Suggestion? If they, Suggestion. If they buy. Uh -huh, I am giving you an idea, right? It's just an opinion, an idea, a suggestion, a piece of advice, right? It's not like do it, like an obligation. I'm just proposing, right? An idea. And um, if you tell me, teacher, Uh, for me, it's difficult to understand grammar. Okay, you might um, you might check the website EnglishPerfectGrammar.com. They have really good exercises. Or if you like videos, you could watch a Super Holy. Super Holy has some videos about English and they are very good in Spanglish, Spanish and English. Okay, thank you, teacher. So I give options, right? You might, you could. Is this, and, and it's in a nice way, in a nice way, right? So let's move on. I'm just going to plug my computer charger because apparently the battery is going low. So um, let's, Let's try to complete these sentences based on the conversation. Number one, number two, and number three. Number one is for boys. Number two is for girls. Number three, everybody. Okay, so you can tell me the answers. Check the conversation and tell me what the complete sentence. What is missing here in number one? A gentlemen, boys. It can be Miguel, Freddy, all the boys in the class. Miss the word cool. Yeah, if you could discount the green pepper. Could, could discount. Is that your final answer? You could discount. Could discount. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got my, my computer charger now, so I'm ready. Now, girls, what do you think is the answer for number two? 
Might. 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 Can you please read the complete sentence? Okay, so in this case is event. Might. The stress, the stress uh in the word event is in the second event. syllable, right? Event. event. It's not event, is event. Event. Okay. Event. 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 Correct. So um what is a big event in El Salvador, for example? The final match of Liga Mayor. Of the soccer league, yeah, exactly. The major <laughs> soccer league, that's correct. That's a big event in El Salvador. Okay, Campero next. Lights. The Campero Fireworks, that's correct. Yeah, that's a the big match event of too. Platense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Platense and Destroyers match. Okay, the last one, number three, everybody, what is the, the word that is missing here? Good. You could. Good. Okay. Offer a discount Please. to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay, so that's what you were going to do, right? Read the complete sentence. So you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. So you have two videos there that you can watch. Uh, in order to uh, get more ideas, right? For example, outrageous restaurant marketing ideas, you must try and the restaurant startup. If you're a new business, a new, I mean, a new restaurant owner, if you have the idea of a restaurant, you can watch that video. It's creative marketing plans for restaurants. Ruth, you have a question? Yes, I have a do that. A doubt. Uh -huh. doubt. What is a doubt? doubt. Uh, yes, uh, I, I don't understand so good the difference of might and could. Uh huh. You don't understand. Okay, you don't understand the 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 difference. When okay. when when I have to use the might. That's a good question. Uh, and when we have to use uh could. I am going to show you right now when you have to use each of them. Okay, well, there's one word that you see in the in the links to, for the videos that maybe is new for you, outrageous. In case that you don't know that word, I am going to share with you through the chat one link of a dictionary that I recommend you to use that is good for uh, getting definitions, getting translations. It's a reliable dictionary and it has a pronunciation too. So it's uh what reference right so you can check it out later and right now we go to the explanation about the question that you were asking okay that Ruth was asking so when do we use could and when do we use might we use both to make formal suggestions suggestion advice recommendations okay or request what is a request? Can you Solicitor. tell me? Correct, okay. So for example, teacher, could you explain me the difference between could and might? Teacher, may, uh, could you uh, help me with the question number two or could you help me with the exercise number three? So you can request help. Right? Um, so that's a request. I need one volunteer to help me read the explanation about could and one volunteer to read the explanation and examples of might. So Suleyma, could and Juan Jose, might. Okay, thank you. Then we're going to continue with uh, two more volunteers that are uh, Ruth and Jennifer. Okay, you will help me with the exercise number five. Okay, go ahead, okay. uh, Suleyma. Okay, you school to make suggestions. You could talk to your manager about building products for the promotional event. Okay. You 
new vocabulary, bundling, right? Bundling comes from the word bundle. Bundle, B-U-N-D-L-E. In a moment, we are going to see what uh, bundling means. Right now, I cannot tell you because it's part of the exercise. But that's a new word, okay? The pronunciation is bundling. Okay, continue with the second example. Uh, Suleyma, please. Okay, you could generate, generate business in a community event. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, Juan Jose, might. Might is often used to use with a want or like to add politeness. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to school a to schedule alone. Schedule. You might like to schedule, to schedule yeah. a promotional event alone, a holiday like Black Friday. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Black Friday is another big event in El Salvador, right? Okay. So um, those are examples and when to use it, okay? So normally we use could to, to express or to give suggestions, recommendations. And we normally use might with the verb want and like to add politeness, okay? What is politeness? Educado. Okay. Cortesia. Cortesia, uh-huh. Para agregar cortesia, okay, that's correct. So polite is educado, cortes, right? Uh, and politeness is cortesia. Uh, so, if, uh, let's suppose. Okay, so teacher, in this moment, I am watching uh, videos in, in English with subtitles in Spanish. Is that good? And I say, mm, I think it's good, but you might want to practice with uh, videos in English with subtitles in English so that you can see the vocabulary in English and you can copy the new words, right? You can pay attention to the spelling and you forget a little bit about Spanish because sometimes it's not good to be translating. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher, right? So it's a polite recommendation in this case, right? Um, now, you are going to complete the exercise number five, okay? The sentences with could or might, and you are going to compare the answers with a classmate. So you will do the exercise alone, individually, right? But when you finish, you are going to compare with a classmate. So right now, I will give you exactly four minutes, four minutes to complete the exercise in your notebook. You can write down the numbers and the number from one to five and the word could or might, okay? Later, you can copy the complete sentence, but right now, just write down the number and the word that is missing. If you think that is could or that is might, for example, number one. Uh, Jennifer, can you please read sentence number one? We could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. Around the city, okay? Covered in propaganda, right? Around the city. So um, that's what you're going to do, okay? So four minutes maximum. I think that in three minutes you will finish, but let's check, right? So your time begins in three, two, right in your notebook, right? Right in your notebook, not in the chat right now. Uh, ready, set, and go. I'll give you three minutes. I think that you will finish fast. You're very smart.
Michelle. Hello. Uh, sorry, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, the number three. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of bundle? Oops. Ah, I will tell you in the next in the next slide. Right now is okay. I cannot tell you because it's part of the next vocabulary and exercise that we're going to do. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. And you have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Okay, please give me a thumbs up or uh, a heart if you already finished the exercise. So I have an idea about how many participants are ready with the answers. Okay, so Diana, Brenda, and let me check Juan Jose, very good. Karen, excellent. Miguel Angel, Ana Beatriz, Jacqueline, nice. Ana Mariela, Francisco, Ruth. Okay, so good. The majority of you already finished. So we will go one by one, one by one, okay? With different volunteers. Remember that my intention is that everybody participates at any moment of the class. So uh, I think that for the number two, I am going to ask Harvin, number two, please. Okay, teacher. The boss who want to start the event with a, a speech. The boss could want. Mm -hmm. I have some doubts about that. Ana Beatriz. The boss might want to start the event with a speech. Might want, okay. Remember that normally with the verb want or like, we use might. Okay, might. might. Podría querer o podría gustarle, right? So might want, might like. Um, so uh, it's a polite. For example, if you if you go shopping, let's say with your brother or your sister, and you say, hey, I'm going to buy uh, black shoes for my mother. Mm, and you know that your mother doesn't like black shoes, you'll be like, but it's your money, right? But but I think that she, she might like the blue shoes, not the black ones, in my opinion, right? So it's like in a polite way, you, you express that there another option is could be better, right? You might like she might like the the blue shoes, not the black ones. Okay, so that's the correct answer for the number two. Thank you so much to the volunteers. Now I'm going to ask the next person in the list here. That is uh, Ana Mariela, number three. With collectible mugs, okay? The mugs are similar to this one right here. So they are like, like cups, the big cups where you can drink coffee or chocolate or milk. So those are mugs. It's another expression to say cup, right? Okay, uh, thank you so much. That's correct, Ana Mariela. 
Uh, root number four. And the number four is the manager might like to launch a new line of kids meals. Okay, uh, kids meals. My like, that's correct. Thank you so much for the reaction, Jacqueline. That's, that's right, okay, she gave the correct answer. So now I am going to ask Jessica to give me the number five. Okay, teacher, the, ev the event could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. To increase sales, that's correct. So those are the correct answers. So we have number two, might, number three, could, number four, might, and number five, could. So those are the correct answers. And this answers also the question that Ruth was asking me, right? What is the difference between could and might? So you can use both for suggestions, right? But might is in particular to make the suggestion more polite and is normally used with want or like. So um, then, Let's suppose, right, uh, another example, so you understand might a little bit more. Uh, you are planning a surprise party for your best friend, okay? And you say, hey, why don't, why don't we uh, buy a piñata for the birthday? Mm, a piñata for her birthday, but she's 25 and she's very serious. Uh, so. You might want to have something more formal, like uh, dinner or lunch, surprise lunch, instead of uh, piñata, right? So that's a polite suggestion, right? And, and then could can be used with any other verb, right? Uh, you could drive, you could try. You, I mean, yeah, you could try, you could go. Uh, for example, hey, teacher, uh, if you... I'm going to San Salvador, right? Can you give me a recommendation or a suggestion of a good restaurant, a good Mexican restaurant? I want to go to a good Mexican restaurant in San Salvador. What option, what suggestion do you give me? Where should, where could I go in San Salvador? A good Mexican restaurant. Uh-huh. pinche. Give me the complete sentence. <laughs> uh -huh. You could visit or you might like the pinche. You might like mm -hmm. the pinche t-shirt or, or you, I mean, you could you try visit. or you could visit or you could go to uh -huh, uh, the el pinche. pinche. Ah, the pinche okay. Pinche. El pinche, it sounds funny. <laughs> okay, el pinche. If you like the tart la tartaleta, uh -huh. you might like bam bam. Bam bam. Ah, okay. Bam bam. I heard about that on TV, I think, or no, it was on the radio. Bam bam. Okay, excellent. Thank you for the recommendations. Um okay, so I am going to move on, okay, because of time, uh to the last part okay i was telling you that we have some new vocabulary to learn or to practice so what you're going to do right now before i tell you this do you have any questions about might and could or everything is clear for you at the moment it's clear it's clear like coffee or like water water coffee with milk <laughs> like coffee with okay so now we move on to the vocabulary so we have some vocabulary words here uh you're going to match the words to the meaning but first we're going to practice pronunciation please you can activate the microphone for this for this repetition okay listen and repeat after me letter a publicity stunts publicity stunts Stunts. 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 Okay, stunts. publicity stunt. Publicity, right? Publicity stunts. Publicity stunt. Okay, letter B or number two, bundling. 
Bundling. Bundling. Bundling. Bundling. Bundling. Bundling. Bundling. Okay. Bundling. Letter C. Public relations. Public relations. Public. Public, right? Public relations. Public relations. Okay. Now I hear you like gringos and gringas. Let's continue with letter D. <laughs> Loyalty offerings. Loyalty offerings. Offerings. Loyalty. Loyal, right? So you are like law, right? Good. Loyalty offerings. And the last one is sampling. 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 Like nasal sound, right? Sampling. 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 That sounds funny. That sounds funny. So, uh, Jennifer, you have a question or a comment? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Loyalty what is the question? offering is no a question. Uh it's like um programas de lealtad. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> because in I can't tell you right now because you're going to complete the exercise. And then you will discover, right, the, the meaning or the definition of loyalty offerings. So right now you will have exactly two minutes to complete the exercise. So please, in your notebook, write down the letters. Well, write down the vocabulary. Let's finish. Publicity. Uh, <laughs> okay, so please, two minutes, match the, the words to the definition, please. Ready, set, go. Maximum two minutes. Uh, Anna, if you finish, you can send me a, a direct message so that we can check, right? If you have um, if you have the answers right, so I can tell you, okay? Check. Okay, one more minute. Okay, so I got message from Anna and blank. Uh huh. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And almost, almost correct. So the time is up right now. So we're going to be checking uh, the answers, okay? Checking the answers. We're going to discuss, right? We're going to discuss in case you have different answers because that's a possibility. And it's okay. First one that we're going to match is publicity, well, publicity stunts, publicity stunts. Um, where do you think it goes? What do you think is the definition for publicity stunts? A plan event designed to attract the public's attention. A plan event designed to attract the public's attention. Uh huh. Offering several products for sale at one combined product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in this case, the correct answer is a 
plan event designed to attract the public's attention. Okay, so here's the last one, the publicity stunts. Okay, it's like a show, right? Um, so uh, there are people performing, doing different things. Now. In the homework. Hello? It doesn't match in the homework because doesn't match. In the homework uh, show, yeah, shows that is offering several products for sale as one combined product. Really? So yeah. that's that's probably yeah. a mis yeah it's a it's a mistake. So in this case, we go with bad. the with the second one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, for the publicity stunts, you can have people dancing, people um, I don't know uh, doing different things with the, with some like banners. Okay, on the street. So those are some publicity stunts, uh, parades. Uh, clowns, different things, okay, for publicity. Now, for bundling, this is really interesting because it's the word that you have been asking, right? Bundling. What is bundle? Bundle up, bundling, bundle. What is that? What do you think is the definition for bundling? Offering several products for sale as one combined product. Correct. So this is the correct definition for bundling. For example, when I bought a computer like five years ago, uh, they say bundle. And I was like, bundle, what is bundle? So I look in the dictionary, right? Bundle. Ah, bundle is a combination of different items and they are offered as one. So for the computer, they gave me the mouse, uh, USB, and they gave me um, a computer case to put the computer, to put, I mean, to save the laptop. So uh, that was a bundle and was like, oh, it's for $400 or $500, the four items. So that's a bundle, okay? Uh, I don't know, for example, if you go to Radio Shack and they tell you, okay, so we have a bundle. We are going to give you a speaker, a microphone, and we're going to give you a USB for $100. And you are like, okay, that's a, that's, that sounds good, right? So um, that's a bundle, okay? So bundling is a strategy. Now, public relations, what is that? The professional maintenance of a favorable <laughs> public image. Uh, favorable. How do you, <laughs> teacher, how do you pronounce? We have a new student. Sounds like a <laughs> like a robot. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Favorable. That's correct. Favorable. 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 Okay. So don't worry. It's a, it's a probably you never pronounced the word before, so it's a new word. Okay. The professional maintenance. Okay. Maintenance is no maintenance or maintenance. No maintenance. Right of a favorable public image. image. It's not imagining, it's image, that's correct. So that is public relations, correct. Loyalty offerings, somebody was asking about loyalty offerings. I think it was Jennifer, right? So what is loyalty offerings? Personalized incentives. Personalized incentives, right? Per personalized incentives, okay? So that's correct, okay? So Francisco, you are the number one customer here in my restaurant. I am going to give you a t-shirt with your name here, right? So that's a, a, a loyalty offering, right? So our customers that have a credit card for, the, for, for our restaurant, we're going to give a free coffee all this month, right? So um, different strategies. And finally, sampling. What is sampling? Uh huh. Is the action the strategy to promote a pro of a product by distributing samples of it? Okay, distributing, distributing. So the verb is distribute, distribute. Right? It's not distribute or distribute. Is distribute. Right? So um, 
but Wait, we this... came to you offer offer okay. yeah offer offering something that's correct now okay. you are the new manager at a restaurant okay now you change the mentality you are the new manager of a restaurant and the menu was recently changed with better dishes but there are still a few customers right so write down five suggestions about the promotional activities that you can use to get more people to come to the restaurant how are you going to write down the suggestions easy you are going to use wait the could might right like for example i am the, the the manager and you are my friend can you please give me some recommendations some suggestions so give me five suggestions about the promotional activities that you can use to get more people to come to a restaurant okay let's do it like that together so the restaurant is a uh, you are more familiar with uh bam bam right that is similar to tartaleta or it's like a bakery right so I have in my, I am the, the, the owner um, of the Ban Ban restaurant and I want to offer a, let's say, milkshakes, okay? A, with mango, uh, coconut, different seasonal fruits, but people don't buy the, the milkshakes. So can you please give me five suggestions about my milk to to sell my milkshakes right now i am going to create a breakout room you are going to discuss in the in your group okay let's give five ideas to the teacher to improve or to sell the milkshakes at bam bam right so that's what we're going to do right now so in small groups right uh, you are going to come up with ideas. How can we help the teacher to sell the milkshakes? Five strategies that I could implement to sell my new product, okay? Seasonal milkshakes, that is my proposal. Seasonal milkshakes, right? Liquidos de temporada. So uh, if it is carao, carao milkshake, right? If it is uh, papaya, papaya milkshake. So that's my idea, my crazy idea, but people, don't buy them. So help me, please. Give me advice. Give me suggestions. I need five suggestions per group. Okay? Okay, okay. So you have exactly, let's say, four minutes. Okay? Ready, set, go to the breakout room, please. And then you will give me your advice. Okay, go to the breakout room. Excellent. Jessica, Blanca, Floor, Jacqueline. Phone number four. And I'm going to move. But yeah, like whenever you are done, right? What? Like whenever you are done. If you buy five times, you can free a uh, mango milkshake. I don't know. <laughs> like uh, add a new flavor, something like that. We can use a nap. Um, the teacher might add a new flavors okay. to the milk, maybe, because <laughs> there are some people that doesn't like the milk milkshake. He said, right? 
Ah. We can offer uh, an, an option with meals that doesn't we can hear you very well. <laughs> a milk that doesn't have lactosa. Lactosa? Yeah. Um, plastic uh, cups, something like that. So they can buy it and then they, after that, they can save the, the cup. Right? Can so be one thing. Be, so <laughs> Sometimes people like cup. that. Hmm? So it has to be some kind of different cup. Aha, uh -huh, like a, like a glass. Like a design. Uh -huh. design. We can, we some can offer things, healthy, uh, healthy shakes. Yes, like a healthy, for example, like a soy milk or almond milk, coconut, coconut milk, um, milk, something like that. Because some people didn't uh, uh, drink cow, cow milk. Okay. And they going to to buy another one. Or maybe maybe if you buy uh, any product uh, for minimum consume, you uh, we we only had two minutes, but it's okay. <laughs> Time flies uh, when you're having fun. <laughs> That's what they say. Okay, it's guys, so I, 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 I know, I know. So don't worry. Tomorrow you're going to share with the with with us. Well, tomorrow <laughs> on Monday. You see, I want to continue tomorrow. So on Monday you're going to share with us some of the ideas that you have to 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 help me sell my seasonal milkshakes. Okay, I was listening to some ideas, like about the milk, about the presentation, about the different options. So that was really good. But we're going to discover that on Monday, okay? Don't forget, right? You, uh, group number one, Carla, Diana, Maritza. Group number two, Anna, Brenda, Freddy's. I'm going to take a screenshot better. Because on Monday, it's like, I don't remember this. Uh, <laughs> it happens. I know my people. I am learning to. Ayana, uh, there's I'm, a ghost uh, behind you. <laughs> we're more my time. Okay, so we are. Uh, I'm getting to know you. Se aprende a conocerlos. Okay. <laughs> so quickly, uh, I'm going to take the attendance, and after that, uh, if, well, in the meantime, if you have a question, you can ask me, right? So, Ana, are you Ana Beatriz? Are you still here? Yes. Or no? Yes. Ana Beatriz? Yes. Yeah. Okay, she's here, apparently. Ana Mariela? She. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, Brenda? I'm here. Carla? I'm here. Brenda has a mysterious voice. No. Okay, <laughs> Diana? Many. Many, many. Coming here. Okay, Floor. I'm here. Okay, Francisco. I'm here, Tisha. Excellent. Uh, Harvin. Present. The weather today was really nice, right? It was not like raining everywhere, not connection problems. So it was a good, it was a good Friday. Okay, uh, Jennifer. It's raining here. I'm here to It's raining here. Ah, oh, okay. But not too much, right? A little. Not too much. A little. Ah, yes, a little, yeah. Juan Jose? I'm here. Karen? Present. Okay. Eh, Maritza? I'm here. Eh, Miguel Angel? 
Gail. You too. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Ruth is raining where some where, where Miguel lives. I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Suleima. I'm here with you. Jessica. I'm here, teacher. Jacqueline. Okay, but at the end of the class, that's I'm good. I'm here. <laughs> okay, uh, Blanca. And here. Freddy. Here. Perfect. So I'm going to take a picture, guys, for because we finished the week and it's Friday. So don't move. Okay, excellent. Now I see Harvey on the camera. Okay. Anna Elizabeth is here. Yeah, I have many troubles with not eating at all the class. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, Anna. Thank you for clarifying that. So picture in three, two, one, say cheese. Got it. So uh, <laughs> now I'm going to stay with Jennifer for the last 10 minutes. Uh, do you have any questions or comments to finish this first week? First no. of all, congratulations. I want to say congratulations because you did an excellent job. Okay, considering that it was the first week and it's difficult to start at the beginning, right? Yeah. So it was really good. Thank you, teacher. I, I enjoyed Thank a lot you, with you. Thank you. Uh, have you're nice welcome. Weekend. It's my pleasure. Have a great weekend. Thank Enjoy, you. relax, rest. Thank Enjoy you. your weekend. Bye. 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 Okay, see you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, can you hear me well? Yes, I can hear you pretty well. Okay, actually, I don't have any question about the topic that we are reviewing but mm -hmm. if you want if you don't mind you can explain me you could ask could you please explain me ah now you're about, using could uh-huh yeah uh about conditional but i don't remember well because i have studied english before but i have been forgetting some words um uh -huh. some topics some about topics mm -hmm grammatical about grammar got it about got grammar it. yeah uh can you please uh show me something or oh, a little review about a uh, con no, moral verbs like no i have an issue i shouldn't have, have done, done i shouldn't have done that okay so you want model verbs or you want conditionals model verbs Model verbs, but okay. Model okay. perfect. Okay, model verbs. So uh, when we're talking about model verbs, we have different options, of course. Uh, which ones do you remember? I remember could, might, uh, would, in first and second condition. Could, might, um, would. Ought to, a little bit. Uh -huh. Ought to or yes, should. That. Should, um, right? Should. Auto or should? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, for obligation, what do you use? Should. should. No. Uh, have to. Have to or, or must. must. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, with must and have to because these two are similar, but they're different at the same time. So uh, must and have to, the difference is that must is a strong and usually a legal obligation, right? Like uh, institutions or the governments, they have rules. So um, for example, when you're driving, one of the, of, the, of the laws, right, that they have is that you must 
have a driver's license if you want to drive. Uh, so it's not optional. Have to is more a personal obligation. For example, uh, you say, I have to uh, wake up early every day. So it's not must, I have to, okay? Uh, because if you wake up late, you're not going to prison, right? Uh, but if you don't have a driver's license and you're driving, you can go to prison or you can probably, well, they can take the car from you or you can get a ticket, right? You can pay for a, a ticket, a fine. So um, that is the difference between have to and must, okay? Must is more, okay. is, is more uh, like formal, very legal, very strong. And have to is more personal obligation. Uh, could Good for suggest suggestion. Should should yeah should is for suggestion. Uh, for example, uh, I don't have money. What should I do? Um, you should look for a job. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> ought to is 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 very similar. This is a little bit more formal. Okay. Ought to uh, or aru right? This, they pronounce it like that. Aru. Um, could, may, and might are similar. Could, may, and might. Uh, maybe, maybe the difference is just the level of uh, courtesy or, or, or politeness or the level of, yeah, possibility or probability. Um, so could, for example, we use it for a request, right? Or possibility. <laughs> so uh, could you please help me? You don't say, might you help me or may you help? Well, may you help me is possible, but might is not. Uh, may is very polite. So um, that would be a difference between may and might. Um, the other, the other verb that uh, you can also, well, you use frequently is would. So we use would with uh, another verb, right? Uh, any verb to uh, express a possible situation. So for example, uh, or unreal sometimes. Uh, if I were the president of our country, I would help a lot of poor people. And also I would create laws to protect the animals and the environment. So I would help a lot of people. So it's, uh, in this case, we are using the conditional. So the conditionals, we know that they are divided in different types. We have the zero conditional, we have the first conditional, the second and the third conditional. Okay, there is also a mixed conditional, but the most common ones are those four. Zero conditional, for example, is when uh, we talk about cause and effect. Okay, so um, if I don't study, I get a bad score. So it's logical uh, consequences, right? And both are in, this, in the simple present tense. So if I pay attention in class, I understand. Then the first conditional is uh, used for a similar case, okay, similar cases, but it's more about facts. So if I don't study for tomorrow's test, I will get a bad score. I will get a bad score. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, if the if people don't do anything to protect the planet, we will have big problems in the future. So it's fact. It's a fact. Uh, if you place ice under the sun, it will melt. Okay. Then. For the second conditional, we are talking about unreal situations, normally unreal or difficult to happen, right? Situations that are difficult to happen. For example, uh, let's suppose we're talking about if another person, if I uh, were 
Messi, I would be a millionaire. Or if I had, if I had a Lamborghini, right, this very expensive car, I would drive it all over El Salvador. If I had, the reality is that I don't have a Lamborghini. So um, that's the second conditional, right? So for this case, we are using the simple past for the condition, if I had, if I were, okay? And for the results, we are using would plus, well, we can use would or could plus the base form of a verb, okay? That is for the results. Finally, but last but not least, is the third conditional. The third conditional is when we are talking about regrets or things that we cannot change or things that we wish we had done in a different way. For example, uh, the situation is that uh, the Titanic sank many years ago because people didn't see the iceberg on time. So you think about the how the situation could have been different. So in this case, I can say, if the people in charge of uh, observing everything outside the Titanic had seen the iceberg on time, it wouldn't have sunk. So um, then what happened next with the Titanic? Uh, a lot of people died uh, because the rescue boats arrived very late, probably hours after the, the crash. So what conclusion can you get from that? If the rescue boats had arrived earlier, they could have saved more lives. So those are examples. So here we are using the if, Class or the condition class uh, with the past perfect. If I had been a good student, I could have got the first place medal. For the result class, we are using model could, right? Uh, in this case, plus the person perfect. So we use a model plus a person perfect. Uh, we can use might, we can use could, uh, et cetera. And that's it, right? So if you have any other doubts, uh, we'll see each other next week. Have a good night and see you next time.